Hey, welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm in my PJs today and I don't even care. It is January 2nd and I have two boxes from last month that I missed doing to upload to my YouTube channel because I didn't even get them until like two days before Christmas. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a single or double unboxing today. I guess we will see how I feel after I do the first one and if I'm just like super in anticipation for the next one or maybe I'll make you wait and watch that one, the, uh, the second one later. We'll see how it goes. For now, I'm gonna jump into the big one because this box is a lot oh, wider than the ones I normally get. So I'm quite excited to see what's inside. While I open this, I guess I should say, while you're here, if you haven't been here before, I tend to do mostly unboxing videos on my YouTube and also getting into makeup tutorials and other. I do like to do review videos on all of the items inside of the boxes as well. So if you want to check those out or see some other things that I might upload, go ahead and what is it that all the YouTubers say? Smash that subscribe button or give me a like if you like this and maybe you'll see me pop up on your homepage soon. Okay, I think that that was pretty much it for that like whole introduction spiel. I'm getting better. I'm, oh, I, 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 I still feel like I'm pretty new at this, but hey, I really appreciate you for being here and checking this out. Now, oh my gosh, this is the Lux box. So if you like are new to BoxyCharm, you get basic boxes every single month. And then I believe every season you get a Lux box. There's also premium boxes, but the Lux boxes are always so much freaking fun. I can't wait to see what's inside of here. And it's like, Got all jewels and diamonds on this card. Ooh, so pretty. I can't look because if I look, I'm going to spoil the prices and what's inside the box and it's not going to be a surprise. So I'm going to set that over there and I will just refer to that later when I post up all of the prices. I'll usually do that at the end of the video. I might even just pick up the card at the end and go through the box instead. We'll, we'll see. Like I said, I'm new here. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, <laughs> the videos are gonna probably change every single time until I get my flow down, but alrighty. Oh, oh my God. I have never tried Anastasia Beverly Hills outside of the eyebrow pencils and the eyeshadow primer. Friggin' love Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Out of all the ones I've tried, it is my go-to, so. Anyways, this is a face palette. It is called Italian Summer. Ooh, okay. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> I'm so stoked. Okay. Ooh, it almost looks like a clutch. That is freaking cool. They like needed to put just a little metal purse or handle on the top, you know, then I can like carry it around or pull it out of my, my clutch purse out of my purse. Okay. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. But anyways, it's uh, it actually looks metal. It is just plastic, but it does look metal. So nice. Should I open it for you first? Let's do it. Is that like a cream? Okay. No, it's not. It looks creamy, but they're just Wow, this is a great, like, go-to palette. It's got my bronzer, highlighter, and blush all in one. And I do think that this seems to be, like, shades that would just suit everybody. So, wow, this is going to be so much fun to try. And I bet you this is going to live inside of my purse. Okay. Do, 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 do. What next? What next? This looks fun. Is it a face mask? It feels like a face mask. Oh, too bad Saturday and Sunday just passed, but it says Saturday and Sunday sheet masks. So maybe I'll just make it a weekend thing and I'll follow this whole Saturday, Sunday glow weekend challenge. Cool. So it's from Do of the Gods. I've gotten a couple things from Do of the Gods before. 
This one says that <laughs> the gods of good skin challenge you to prioritize you this weekend. For the next two days, you're the main character and you're in control. We've formulated two rich, luxurious, and purposeful lace spun sheet masks. Ooh designed to restore your skin's moisture barrier, bounce, and youthful glow for firm, oh, from the week you just lived in. I, I'm like, I'm reading words that aren't even there. Anyways, I'll, it's your job, it's your job to promise yourself 10 minutes a day this weekend to treat yourself and your well-being for your skin. Oh my gosh, a challenge worth committing to? Heck yes. Saturday is a cold elixir made from squalene and citrus extract ooh, and sunday is a restorative and preventative skin cocktail formulated with retinol and hyaluronic acid to heal and repair this looks like so much fun it's all about self-care and you know if you don't follow me on instagram yet i do a lot more on there head on over to instagram same tag at miss carissa lee i am all about self-care hair care skin care doing your makeup because doing your makeup self-care too like heck yes thanks for this weekend challenge it is currently monday so i will break into this after the long week i have ahead i mean i guess i can like preemptively say i have a long week ahead even though i have nothing scheduled yet when you have a toddler though your week like just gets away from you before you even know it okay this looks like an eyeshadow palette called molly mally best dressed lids neutrals and bolds 14 matte and shimmer eyeshadows I have so many bloody eyeshadow palettes. I keep saying I need to do a giveaway. And now that it's the new year, I need to like actually freaking do it. So there will be a giveaway coming up on my Instagram page very soon. I promise. Maybe this will be in it. Keep your eyes peeled. Who knows? Okay. Oh, I'm going to lose the paper. Ooh, these are like, this is different. This isn't what I was expecting when it said neutrals. It's kind of got like some blues whoops okay there we go <laughs> it's got like some blues and greens and purples just like all over the map really but not what I would expect for a neutral palette to me a neutral palette is like like your naked palettes from Urban Decay where it's all neutral colors but this is nice it's got some really fun colors in it maybe I will do a tutorial on this Maybe I'll put it in a giveaway. We'll see. I'm not too sure yet. All right. I feel like I need to get rid of that. And I've gotten a few things from Herbivore from BoxyCharm already. And I still have yet to use it. I just have a collection sitting around waiting for me to run out of old stuff. But this... I, I like the herbivore brand I've heard good things of them before not before boxycharm and the couple things I have tried I really like so this one is their cloud jelly it is a plumping hydrating serum vegan collagen and turmerella I have no idea what that is uh, I don't even think you can see the packaging from there here let's try three little strawberries kind of cute and then Oh, ooh, it almost looks like a strawberry milkshake. Cute. I really want to try this on the back of my hand for texture, but I also don't want to open it because then if it sits in my, in my back stock of items for a little bit, it'll still be good once I get to it. But this just, it looks like I want to drink it, even though I know I probably, I, well, I'm not going to do that, but anywho, I don't really think I've used collagen on my face before, so I'm going to have to look into this, see what it's all about before I break into it. Maybe it is something I can add to my routine right away. 
So far, I seem to have a good balance of skincare and makeup. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, there's a lot in here. I thought you're only supposed to get five items a box. Maybe the Lux is different, but I think I'm counting like eight products here. So let's see by the time we get to the end. However, definitely more in here than I was expecting. I got one thing from this brand before. This is called Dear Midnight. They have beautiful packaging. However, I think the last item I got from Dear Midnight was, oh, I love this. Um, <laughs> and not eyeshadow, it was an eyeliner duo. And I did not like it. I didn't like the eyeliner. It just like, I think the one broke and the other one I just wasn't getting any pigment off of because it was silver. Now, this is a setting spray, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more, not a little bit more. I'm, I got this, I have a brain. Hopefully this product works better than the last I tried from this brand. I do need a new setting spray. I went through my last one way too quickly. So let's see if I like this one. Can I see if there's any, okay, there is fragrance in it. Seems to have pretty basic ingredients though. You know, not tested on animals. Did this one say vegan? Cruelty free, it doesn't say vegan, but it's cruelty free. And then, doesn't tell me where this brand is from. Oh, formulated in the USA, made in China. I always like to know, I always have little questions like where is that from? Oh my God, this is so pretty, okay. Please, I really hope I like this. I don't know if you can even see that. It's got like stars on it. And it's just so pretty. It's like sheer and see-through. It's got their little logo on top. I like it. I am totally, I said I needed a new one anyways. So I'm gonna spray this and I'm gonna see if I like it. Nice big lid too. Okay, let's see. I don't even have makeup on, but I don't care. Well, it smells nice. It's not like overpowering in smell and it felt like it distributed quite evenly. I didn't get like splotches or clumps. <laughs> kind of has an after smell. I don't know. I'll try it out a couple times more, see if I like it and get, get some feedback in a future tutorial video that you'll see if you subscribe to my page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, I'm getting it. I kind of know all the little things to throw in there, like subscribe now. <laughs> What's next? <gasps> more Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got more. I got the brow freeze. Oh my God. I have seen so many videos about this brow freeze and I, I don't do my brows very often. I like... I feel like I'm good at doing brows, but I just don't like doing them. However, after all of the videos I have seen on this brow freeze, I am stoked to give this a try. Okay, so let's see. Nice packaging, Ooh, very reflective. And it's just like this clear, I almost wish it came with a spoolie because I think I have a few extras, but you take a spoolie, as far as I know, and you dip the spoolie into this very clear gel, and then it like mega freezes your brows. I really badly want to try this to do a blocked brow. Best way to describe it is a blocked brow. You get rid of your eyebrows by gluing them down and putting foundation and powder on them so it looks like they're not there. And then you can draw whatever you want. So maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to do that and we are gonna try this and see if it works. So keep your eyes out for that one. Every time I always make things fall, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not even gonna bother making it look pretty. Stunna lip paint, stunna, like stunner, I don't know. It's from Fenty Beauty. It's very red. I love red. Okay, talk to me, Fenty. So, the Stunna lip paint, I'm assuming this is gonna be a stay all day kind of thing. And I love me a good 
I'm gonna say Everlasting Lipstick because the KVD Everlasting Lipstick is my go-to, but I might have a new go-to after this if this is what I think it is. We're gonna try it out. Everything so far that I have used by Fenty Beauty, I give a nine to 10 out of 10. I have not had any issues with any of their products so far and such beautiful packaging. How can you say no to something like this? It is just, I was gonna say stunning, but what did they call it? It is a stunner. <laughs> I'm gonna hashtag that because I think I'm saying it right. But, you know, whatever. We're having fun here. That's the point, right? Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Self-care, makeup, watching endless unboxing videos. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. I'm assuming that's why you're here, too. All right, I got my stack going on. I'm on the last product of the box. For some reason, I thought that if the box was that long, that it was going to have a hot tool or something inside of it. I don't know what I was thinking. I also know that I got to choose a couple of these products, but that was in like November. And because I got my box so late in December and it's now January, I don't even remember what I selected, but that's all right. I mean, I'm still gonna use them and I'm still having a good time unboxing and getting surprised by everything like this. Okay, so I still have yet to try my Keys face serum that I got in I don't even know when. This is the Keys Soul Care Radiant Eye Cream from Alicia Keys. My aunt had to tell me that it was Alicia Keys who made this skincare line. I saw the skincare line out. I had no idea it was Alicia Keys, okay? So <laughs> it seems to me like all of the artists are getting into makeup nowadays probably because they get like... Oh, I can't even remember what it's called. When you get like a certain percentage off of every sale or whatever. Besides the point, I should probably crack into these. I'll say next because I'm almost out of my eye cream and, and my face serum. So maybe I will try the Alicia Keys line next. I would love to show you the packaging. I could get it open. Uh-oh. Okay, I got it. So I would love to see how it looks or if it's just basic. Come on. Who are we kidding? All of these artists are not going to be just basic. Like, did you see the Fenty packaging? This one is really pretty too. It's purple. My favorite color. It's like got a nice, I don't know, I guess you could just say design to it. And it says... I have awakened my full potential. So I'm assuming you're gonna awaken my under eyes, right? Okay. Ooh, no smell. Just the way I like it. I don't like strong scents. It is definitely a cream. Sometimes you get like gels or other. I like it when they just stick to the basics that way and just do like a gentle cream because I don't know gels to me are tacky they always end up tacky unless you know a gel that's not tacky and that you would suggest because I'm always down for a good suggestion if you have any go ahead drop me a comment let me know I always add to the list of things to test out well do I do the next box we got a lot of good grabs in this one and definitely more items than I was expecting. I'm so excited to try some of these and also excited for some of these to go into my back stock until I get to try them. Okay. Okay, I'm too excited. I'm having fun. Let's do it. I'm going to open the other one. But first, I'm going to take all these down so that I have a bit of space to put the new ones. Even though I know you can't really see the items behind me when I'm sitting here, I just like having them set behind me, I guess, versus throwing them back into the box. We'll see. Maybe with time that will change. But for now, I guess I like it. Okay. Hey!
Did I not get basic box this month? I thought this was going to be, be a basic box. I'm like so shook and now more excited because the basic boxes are a little bit more basic items. This is a premium box. Well, either I am missing a box for the month of December or we don't get one. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, let's dig into this and see what goodies we got because so good. Oh, and I never went over my card for the last one. That's shit. Um, I'll figure out how to edit that in here somehow. Tis the season for being extra. So extra. Maybe I'll do something different. I'm going to do this box where I read off the cards and give you the prices right away. And then you, you are going to go and t put in the comments at the end of this video what you prefer. And then you can give me feedback on what I can do moving forward. I think I like this idea. I think you should do that for me. And then I won't forget about this. So I'm going to keep this right here with me and we're going to, we're going to try something different. Number one, I'm just going to pick the thing on the top, top of the box. Do, 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 do. Pencil eyeliner set. Uh oh. I like eyeliners, but the last couple eyeliner duos I got from BoxyCharm I was not impressed with. So, this says part two bronze. What? Perfect collab pencil eyeliner set. Okay, we're gonna take a look at it and then we're gonna read off of the sheet and see what the heck is going on here. So, we have nice packaging. I kinda like this, I don't know why, I just do. And, oh, okay, so it kind of looks from what I'm seeing down here. We got like, oh, can I do this? Eh. It looks kind of like a black one, as you can see in the strip here, and then a gold one. So, maybe it's like a highlighter and a black liner. Black. And, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a gold but it seems to also or sorry bronze i'm pretty sure that's what it said on the thing um so maybe this one will actually have a little bit of glitter to it the silk like i said the silver one i tried from that uh dark moon or whatever brand didn't have any pigment to it so i really really hope that these guys have pigment to them and that i'm not disappointed with my eyeliner duo foxy charm yeah, that's right. I'm coming at you. It's always disappointing when you get things that just don't work, you know? Okay, let's see. What does it say? Do, do, do. BFC. <laughs> Beauty for certain. That's what this brand is called. Perfect collab. So is it like the collab of the two colors? I'm thinking so. Your perfect collab is here in an expertly matched pencil eyeliner set. These creamy, easy glide liners <laughs> go on smooth and give you a long lasting look with staying powder power. Now that's beauty for certain. That's what you tell me, but I'm not going to know until I try them. So you better be certain ha, 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 that this works or I'm going to be like thumbs down. So these ones are standard retail price of $38 and it is a new launch. Ooh, exciting. Okay. So for almost $40, because this is US dollars. So for me, Canadian, that's going to be like 45 bucks or something for two eyeliner pencils. Pfft, come on. Okay. So if I'm going to be like looking at that much to spend on one of these, I better be liking it. So I'm going to be trying that out later. Go head on over to my homepage, say like a week from now, and I should have a feedback video or, you know, as I said earlier, hit the subscribe button. And then when I post it, it'll just pop up on your homepage. Okay. What's next? This is a serum bomb. I've never heard of a serum bomb before. 
caution, external use only. Well, duh. And I love how they always like tape off the top of the box, but yet I can still access it through the bottom of the box and destroy the box at the same time, but whatever. Nude Nova. That is the color, I'm assuming. I'm really confused here. I would expect a serum to be a serum. This is serum bomb. So do I rub it on my cheeks? Maybe I should have read the card first. Oh, I'm nervous. What the frick is this? Okay, look. So it's like, it's got an applicator. This to me now says that it's supposed to go on my lips. I'm confused. I need the card. All right. Brand make item serum balm hydrating lip treatment. Okay, so it is for my lips. My lips are very dry right now. Maybe I'll just try this one right away. At retailing at $26, it says that this serum lip product provides instant hydration while softening, smoothing, and plumping. Okay, I like all of that. Formulated with a natural volumizing lip ingredient derived from biomolecules extracted from pomegranate flowers, along with jojoba wax. That's gonna be very hydrating and sealing for my lips, so I love that. Uh, and then it says this lip conditioning treatment adds luxurious, long-lasting shine and cushion. All right, all right, all right. Do I have anything left on my lips? No. I've put so much oil on my lips today for how dry they are and they're cracking and all these things. So I'm gonna grab the, ugh, the Anastasia palette that I got here cause I need a mirror and I'm gonna trust this out right now. Don't even care. Doesn't smell like anything. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like can already feel the plumping whatever in effect. It feels like it's hollow in between the lip part here. Don't know if I like that. I want it to be cushiony, not hollow. But I mean, that's besides the point. If this product works, then I really don't even care what it feels like for the applicator. Hmm. Well, I guess we will have to see if it's plumping. Maybe I'll be able to tell as I look back at the video. For now, I can kind of feel it, but I can't really see it. It's not tacky by any means. It feels hydrating. I'll check in on the end of the video and see how I feel, if I remember. I feel like this winter season, I have just completely run out of all of my hydrating lip stuff because it's been like hot and cold, not consistent. So my body just cannot climatize. It's great. Absolutely love living in Canada, except when it comes to things like that. Oh, okay, I've had this before. I, if I'm being honest, I freaking hate the taste of fake watermelon candies and I also don't like the smell so this is gonna be either in a giveaway or a gift because this is a watermelon scented setting spray I do however like Seat London I've tried a few of their things okay what is this whoops yeah that's just directions that's okay so this well this will not be a keeper for me but I, I do love this brand and whoops, <laughs> they do always have pretty, um, I guess you could say basic, but also like basic elegant packaging. So it still looks really pretty on your countertop. Mm -mm. Kind of the same lid as the last setting spray I got in the other box, which is funny. Mm. Okay. This lip balm like tastes like something it's just really soft and I'm super distracted by it. I think I like it. I just had to pause for a minute and throw that in there. Uh, however, yes, this one, yeah. Oh, see, shouldn't even have even tested that. Just nope, not for me. So 
I really hope I find a good home for this guy. Oh, haha, I remembered. Doo -doo -doo the Seattle London Watermelon Dewy Setting Spray retails in at $22. It says it's a delicately scented ultra fine mist to maintain hydration with a dewy finish. However, it is not lightly scented to my sense of smell from what I just tested. However, maybe to somebody else who actually likes the smell of watermelon, that might be different. Okay, now, ooh, this has got some weight to it. So we have the Super Dose Greek Yogurt. I feel like yogurt's not spelled that way. From the brand Cor Chorus, Caress? With Greek yogurt, no, what? Yeah, with real Greek yogurt. Weird, anti-pollution something. It says super dose, that's it. Uh, okay, powered by Greek yogurt, delivers instant cooling with super dose of Microbiome technology helps to rebalance your skin, reduce or improve appearance of dehydrated, stressed looking skin. So I'm assuming it's a cream, right? And anti-pollution tested. Oh, it's a mask. I had to basically read through that whole thing to figure that out. Okay. So it says that it is a mask that you're supposed to keep in the fridge for an extra cooling sensation. Now that is cool. Use as needed two to three times a week. It is taped on both sides, but I have my trusty Zato knife. So let's open that. Okay. Came with a cute little spoon and okay. Maybe I didn't need to open it. Who knows? It's pretty. It's got some nice glass packaging and oh, probio a probiotic super dose face mask. I don't think it said that. Oh, <laughs> it did say that on the other side. I was reading the wrong side. That's okay. We figured it out together, right? Ooh smells really good. It looks interesting. It's like kind of like a cream, but it seems a little bit thicker and like it's got something else in it. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it feels when I test it out. Neato. All right. I am looking forward to this. I haven't done a face mask in a while, so maybe I'll do this during the week and I'll try that uh, weekend challenge on the weekend. don't normally film face stuff. I don't know if you want to see me doing some face stuff. Feel free to drop me a comment and tell me what to do in my next videos. I won't complain. I always like good ideas. Okay, so this one is retailing at $52. And okay, yeah, it is a little different than what I read on the packaging. It says a super dosed face mask that works as a total skin reset in less than 10 minutes powered by pre and probiotic rich real greek yogurt than any other skincare product i didn't even know that other skincare products had yogurt or greek yogurt in it maybe they're just saying more pre and probiotics for being someone who does skincare and makeup you would think i know what pre and probiotics are good for with your skin but i don't so i should probably go search that you know throw it into my blog that i'm trying to create that'll maybe get posted one day we'll see for now I'm just gonna stick to this and if I learn anything new about these products you will catch that information on my review videos as I post those because I love to learn and share what I learn this is a brand I've never heard of Ella Luz it is a liquid bronzer with Camu Camu. You probably can't read that. Don't know what a liquid bronzer or what. Got this. I don't know what Camu Camu is, 
but like I just said, that's something I'm going to have to research and share with you down the road if you check out my review videos. So I'm assuming that this is like a cheek bronzer, not a body bronzer. I probably could use it for both. All I know is it says that it's going to make me look and feel like a Brazilian beach goddess. And I am okay with that. I think. I don't really use tanners or bronzers usually but I mean whatever I'll still feel like a goddess for wearing it and being all shiny. I like the bottle. I like the packaging. This is really nice. Cute little pump. Not gonna pump it though because then I'm spoiling my product review videos. So let's do a quick read up and then I will try this later. Ella Luz. I think that's how I say that. Liquid bronzer with Camu Camu. This transfer proof instant face and body bronzer, okay, so it is for both, gives a natural skin kiss bronze while nourishing and protecting your skin. Okay, so it's formulated to glide on anywhere and stay on through anything. <laughs> this is the bronze you will want from dawn until dusk okay shouldn't it say from dusk till dawn i mean okay no because we're going to the beach not to a nightclub right all right all right i get you i get you guys um yeah and retailing in at 32 dollars. don't know if i already said that so i'm just gonna repeat myself however i just want to try that because the packaging is pretty and i always love like a shimmer or highlight um but like i said if you want to check that out subscribe check on my homepage. Maybe it's already posted. If it's already posted, I should plop that into the video here somewhere because I think I can do that. But now I'm rambling again. So let's continue. I think this is the last product anyways. Yep, it is. All right. So Complex Culture, I got their mascara in one of my more recent boxes and friggin love it. I can have like a basic mascara or it's like a full plumping application that makes me look like I have falsies on. So I'm excited to try this. This is their, their brushes. Ooh. Each brush was mat meticulously made to do the work of multiple brushes to save you both time and effort. The first of its kind, biodegradable handles feature a velvety matte finish for extra grip and control. First of all, I always use one brush for multiple things. So the fact that they designed these brushes to do that, I'm stoked to see these and I'm kind of happy that this is the last product I'm opening. Okay. So we got, whoa, they came in pretty nice packaging too. Um, this one looks like a triangle, guys. Let's see, is this actually seriously a triangle? What is this? So, I have no idea if you can see this. So the edge, it's like they literally have three edges, not round, which means that it's got like a triangular point to it. So my point is literally a point, but then I also have like stipple application and blending opportunities, I think. Okay, where did I put that bottle? I can view tutorials at Complex Culture Beauty. I'm assuming that's Instagram. I need to go check this out. Okay, yeah, this is called a three-sided crease, easy crease definer. Okay, cool. This is different. I've never seen anything like this and I'm really stoked to try this. Can I figure out what these ones are? Do they have names on them? No. Okay. One of them is an all over shadow. So I'm assuming that that is going to be this one because it's got like a flat side. Yeah. I'm getting too tired for this. Guys, I'm still here. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? I just really wanted to do these unboxings before bed. 
Okay, and then this one is a precision eyelid for shades and highlight. Can be used wet or dry. Okay. But this one is like your fluffy brush. Super fluffy. Are they soft? They're so soft. Now I want to go do my makeup. That's okay. I will save doing the makeup and the review video for tomorrow when I have a bit more time. But this was fun. I'm so... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Just hide those for now. I'm so happy I decided to do both boxes. This was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's quickly see... Ooh, for three brushes, these retail in at $40. Um, they are award-winning, multitasking brushes designed to make your life easier. Collect all three easy eye brushes on this, in this on-the-go kit. Collect all three brushes? Does that mean that there's more on-the-go kits or that I've now collected all of these? I don't even know. That's okay. You know what? I think that means it's time to call it a night. I had fun here. I will put the prices for the other products down below if you want to go and check that out as well. And then don't forget to drop me a comment to let me know if you liked me reading off of the sheet as I went or if you like me just saving it for a surprise and popping them in the description instead. And then in the description I also always put the retail price of the box versus the total of all the products inside of the box that's a little bit of fun so we know that it's worth it and that we're actually saving money getting these addictive boxes right right <laughs> well if i haven't said it already once which i probably have thank you so much for being here with me today and checking out my unboxing video if you don't forget if you want to see the tutorials and reviews on all these products and other makeup tutorials because that's what I like to do. Uh, you can either head on over to my homepage or you can hit the subscribe button to see me on your homepage soon. Have a wonderful day and take care beautiful.